Here we have a very irregular figure. It seems to be made up of several rectangles and of a half circle. How would we find its area? To find the area of a re an irregular figure, first split the figure into more manageable objects that you're already familiar with. Here, I'm going to split it up a little bit. So now, we have one large rectangle, one smaller rectangle, and one half circle. We know how to find the areas of all of those objects. So, we can find the areas of each of those individual areas, and then add them together to get our total area. First, we're going to find the area of the rectangle. The area of a rectangle is equal to base times height. In this case, our base is 4, well, sorry, our base is 10, and our height is 4. So the area is equal to 10 times 4, or 40. So the area for figure 1 is 40. Next, we'll find the area of the rectangle down here. Again, we'll use the equation area is equal to base times height. Here, we have a base of 3, but what is our height? Well, here we have two red arrows. The left shows us 8 units, and the right shows us 4 units. So whatever that missing area is, that green arrow that we've drawn, is simply 8 minus 4. So we have a height of 4. Now when we multiply the base 3 and the height 4, we get an area of 12. So the area of our second figure is 12. Now we're going to find the area of our last figure, which is the circle. We have the equation for an area of circle, which is pi r squared. Now because we have half a circle, we're going to take whatever we get and multiply it by one half. So our area is equal to one half times 3.14 times 1 squared. Remember, because our diameter is 2, our radius must be 1. After we multiply these numbers, we get an area of 1.57. So the area of our third figure is 1.57. Now we can find the total area by adding those three areas together. Our total area is equal to 40 plus 12 plus 1.57 for a sum of 53.57. And now we found the sum of our irregular figure.